So today I ran to Home Depot and picked up these eight foot long shiplap boards. You can see they have this little groove over here that you can use to kind of chain them together. But these are eight feet long, which is a little longer than I needed, but they didn't have it in six feet. So I took my first piece, cut it down to right around six feet long, and I have it sitting behind my sink right here because this is what I plan on doing. I think I'll need about three of these to sit right here. So my plan is to cut the rest of these out and start laying them in here. The, this side of the van is mostly done. I can start covering it up. So I'm going to start doing that now. I'm going to take this outlet paw probably and make a little cutout for the outlet. Uh, there might be another couple adjustments to make, but I think this looks like it's going to look good when it comes out. Yeah, so I'm just going to continue cutting away and laying them in here, seeing how they look. And I will report back to you when I can show you the results. Alright, so after working on this for a little while, let me show you what I've got so far. So I've got these boards behind the countertop in. I think it looks pretty nice. This outlet sticks out ever so slightly. So it's not really very even right now. I might later on try to cut this hole a little bit bigger so that maybe this board won't get caught on the outlet itself. But I don't know. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. You can see it's sticking out just a little bit. It looks a little uneven, but it's not a big deal. I can deal with that later. But I've got some boards up there. Uh, I'm putting a couple boards back here. These you won't really see, so it doesn't matter to me that these look uneven because they're more or less just going to be hidden by whatever microwave I put right here. But I think this looks pretty good. The other thing is I started on the right side as well. So I've got boards going up over there. I have like one more kind of long piece of the initial boards I bought. So I have room to kind of put up one more big piece and then I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy some more. But I think this is looking good so far. What I wanna do now is rather than continuing to put up the boards on the sides of the van, I wanna start putting up the actual cosmetic ceiling, which I can show you real quick. I've got my first piece of that cut out right here. So these are not individual boards. This is like a thin, I don't even know what you would call this, laminate or something. It's like really thin plywood that just has a decal on it. So it's not, it's not real boards, but that doesn't matter to me at all. I think this will look good. And the other thing that's nice is it will be inexpensive and lightweight, which I think matters more than having a ceiling that's made of actual individual boards, even though I think that would look better. I think the weight and cost savings will be well worth it. Plus this will just be easy to work with, I think. So I'm going to take this and try putting it up back here. All right, so here's part of the challenge with this. See these screws and how they protrude out ever so slightly? The bolts and the screws. Because of that, I'm not going to be able to screw in that board I bought and make it nice and flush with this because these bolts are going to make that awkward. So I'm thinking I need to try to space the board out ever so slightly so that screws and bolts don't make awkward lumps. Also, I know that there's holes under this board back here. So if a screw is going in, it has a place to go and pierce through this little cardboard strip right here. But I also know that a lot of this has this metal frame behind it. So if I'm screwing through and I go into the metal frame instead of the hole, uh, the screw will just kind of push back and it won't go in. So I need to try to space out the board and I need to find those holes so that the board and the ceiling look right when I screw it in. So to do that, I cut out these thin, small pieces of plywood. So I'm planning on gluing these up there and screwing through them to make sure that I have a good surface to screw into. So I'm going to put those up there right now and maybe give them a little bit to dry. And while I let the glue dry for just a little bit, I'll probably just work on something else in the meantime. But that is the plan for getting started on these. 
All right, so let me just show you what these look like real quick. So I've got these glued in right up here. So this is pretty snugly on. I've got some glue under there. A screw holding it in. The screw is going through the holes that we could see earlier. So I'm going to give this, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour to dry. And hopefully that will be long enough for the glue to hold so that once I take the screws out, the little piece of wood will stay there. And then I can take the screw out and with the board that I'm going to be putting up for the actual ceiling, I just need to make sure I find these holes. So that is my plan. I'm going to try to think about what to do in the meantime while I let that dry. I might just take a break. I might maybe do a couple of small things, but for now, I'm just going to let these dry. Be back soon. All right, so I've given these about an hour to dry now. So I'm going to take the screws out and hopefully the little piece of wood sticks up there with the glue. And I'm going to see if I can't get the cosmetic ceiling stuck up there. This will be a little tricky because once I have to cover up there, I'm not going to be able to see the pieces of wood. But I can kind of use these ribs in the side of the van as a guide for how far over these are. Or at least where I need to kind of line up the screws. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to hit my marks with these. But we'll see. I hope this goes well. for now and I'm just gonna think about this. Here we are. Let me uh, go get a shot from the other side. I think this looks pretty nice. So I made a tough decision to spend probably a little bit more money and time cutting this to where the planks would go this way. Uh, it would have been easier to do this having them going the other way horizontally because it's just the size of the pattern that's on this thing or the size of the boards it comes in and the way the pattern is going based on that. But I think this looks better. I like to look at this a lot more. So I think this looks really nice. It's a little flimsy on the ends here, but that will get fixed in the future. As for like over here, knock on it. It's not moving a whole lot. I think this looks really nice. I think these black screws look pretty good with it. I don't think they look bad. Got a screw over here as well. One thing I need to figure out <laughs> is I, I don't have an easy way to get a screw over here. So this is a little flippity floppity. So I'll figure something out with that to get that to stay down. But I'm very happy with this. I think this looks pretty darn nice. Uh, I will be driving into work tomorrow. So maybe on the way home, I'll stop at Home Depot and pick up uh, as much of this wood stuff as I'll need to do the rest. So what I need to do with the ceiling now is I need to prepare this so that I can put in the 12 volt lights that I plan on putting up here. I bought 12 of these. I've got some of them down here. I bought 12 of these 12 volt LED lights that I plan on putting in the ceiling. A little bit recessed. And I think these will look good when they're up and in there. So I need to plot out how I'm going to arrange those as far as like the spacing. I think cutting the holes for those won't be too bad. But I'm very happy with this. This is a big milestone. You can, you can see how quickly all the like cosmetic things are coming together with the van. I think it's going to start looking really nice. Especially as I cover up more of the ceiling. Um, the floor will probably be the last thing I do. But I want to put the faces on this countertop area and stuff. And I think it's all going to come together really well. So I'm, I'm very happy with this. It's looking really nice so far. So I will catch you in the future. I don't know if there's much more I'm planning on doing today. So I will show you when I have an update to make. Catch you later.